bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. That was the deal. The details elude me now. But the details wouldn't change a thing. It's a story of a man named Booker DeWitt who surveyed, who's seen better days. He has a lot of gambling debt, he's in trouble with some bad people, and he accepts a job to forgive his debt to go to this city in the year, it's the year 1912, to go to this city of Columbia, this floating city, and um, run by this sort of charismatic religious figure and find this woman, Elizabeth, and bring her back to New York. And when he gets there, he finds that the Elizabeth's at the center of this, of a conflict that's sort of tearing the city, that is about to tear the city apart. That's sort of a consistent feature of a lot of these, a lot of these places is they have a, a, a narrowing, a narrowing of what's acceptable. You know, what kind of life is acceptable. But for both these games, for Bioshock One and for Bioshock Infinite, the hardest part and the most important part was making sure I understood the appeal of these places. relative who saw this was very involved in the Tea Party and they were very angry because they thought this game was an attack on the Tea Party and then I had um, another um, I, knew, I knew somebody else who was very much on the opposite side of the spectrum and they thought you know that the Vox Populi were you know a, 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 a questioning the validity of the, of the Occupy movement. <laughs> <laughs> 